Today I want to talk about the reason why the Large Hadron Collider, LHC for short, has not found fundamentally new particles besides the Higgs boson, and what this means for the future of particle physics. Before the LHC turned on, particle physicists had high hopes that it would find something new besides the Higgs boson, something that would go beyond the standard model of particle physics. There was a lot of talk about the particles that supposedly make up dark matter, which the collider might produce. Many physicists also expected it to find the first of a class of entirely new particles that were predicted based on a hypothesis known as supersymmetry. Others talked about dark energy, additional dimensions of space, string balls, black holes, time travel, making contact to parallel universes, or unparticles. That's particles which aren't particles. So clearly, some wild ideas were in the air. To illustrate the situation before the LHC began taking data, let me quote a few articles from back then. You find the references in the information below the video. Here's Valerie Jameson writing for New Scientist in 2008. The Higgs and supersymmetry are on firm theoretical footing. Some theorists speculate about more outlander scenarios for the LHC, including the production of extra dimensions, mini black holes, new forces, and particles smaller than quarks and electrons. A test for time travel has also been proposed. Or here's Ian Sample writing for The Guardian also in 2008. Scientists have some pretty good hunches about what the machine might find from creating never-seen-before particles to discovering hidden dimensions and dark matter, the mysterious substance that makes up 25% of the universe. Here's Paul Langacker in 2010 writing for the APS. Theorists have predicted that spectacular signals of supersymmetry should be visible at the LHC. Here's Michael Dine in 2010 writing for Physics Today. The Large Hadron Collider will either make a spectacular discovery or rule out supersymmetry entirely. The Telegraph in 2010, the LHC could answer the question of what causes mass or even surprise its creators by revealing the existence of a fifth, sixth or seventh secret dimension of time and space. One final one. Here's Steve Giddings writing in 2010 for Fizz Orc. LHC collisions might produce dark matter particles. The collider might also shed light on the more predominant dark energy. The LHC may reveal extra dimensions of space. If these extra dimensions are configured in certain ways, the LHC could produce microscopic black holes. Supersymmetry could be discovered by the LHC. The Large Hadron Collider has been running since 2010. It has found the Higgs boson. But why didn't it find any of the other things? This question is surprisingly easy to answer. There was never good reason to expect any of these things in the first place. The more difficult question is why did so many particle physicists think that those were reasonable expectations and why has not a single one of them told us what they have learned from their failed predictions? To see what happened here, it is useful to look at the difference between the prediction of the Higgs boson and the other speculations. The standard model without the Higgs does not work properly. It becomes mathematically inconsistent at energies that the LHC is able to reach. Concretely, without the Higgs, it predicts probabilities larger than one, which makes no sense. We therefore knew, before the LHC turned on, that something new had to happen. It could have been something else besides the Higgs. The Higgs was one way to fix the problem with the standard model, but there are other ways. However, the Higgs turned out to be right. All other proposed ideas extra dimensions, supersymmetry, time travel and so on, are unnecessary. These theories have been constructed so that they are compatible with all existing observations, but they are not necessary to solve any problems with the standard model. They are basically wishful thinking. The reason that many particle physicists believed in these speculations 
is that they mistakenly thought the standard model has another problem which the existence of the Higgs would not fix. I am afraid that many of them still believe this. The supposed problem is that the standard model is not technically natural. This means the standard model contains one number that is small, but there is no explanation for why this number is small. This number is the mass of the Higgs boson divided by the Planck mass, which happens to be about 10 to the minus 15. The standard model works just fine with that number and it fits the data. But a small number like this, without explanation, is ugly and particle physicists didn't want to believe that nature could be that ugly. Well, now they know that nature doesn't care what physicists want it to be like. What does this mean for the future of particle physics? This argument from technical naturalness was the only reason that physicists had to think that the standard model is incomplete and something to complete it must appear at LHC energies. Now that it is clear this argument did not work, there is no reason why a next larger collider should see anything new. The standard model runs into mathematical trouble again at energies about a billion times higher than what a next larger collider could test. At the moment, therefore, we have no good reason to build a larger particle collider. But particle physics is not only collider physics. And so it seems likely to me that research will shift to other areas of physics. A shift that has been going on for about two decades and will probably become more pronounced now is the move to astrophysics, in particular the study of dark matter and dark energy, and also to some extent the early universe. The other shift that we are likely to see is a move away from high energy particle physics and towards high precision measurements at lower energies, or to tabletop experiments probing the quantum behavior of many particle systems where we still have a lot to learn. What could we learn from this? Subscribe to my channel and you will hear all about it.